Hello, welcome to section 6.6, .6, where we've got some equations that are totally tubular. They're bodacious, they're totally radical, because they have radicals in them, like a cube root, for example, is a radical. So how do you solve radical equations? Here's how. Uh, start by isolating the radical, meaning like get this cube root by itself on one side of the equations. Then we'll raise both sides to an exponent that will cancel out the radical. In this case, because it's a cube root, we can use the exponent 3. And then this is actually extra important in the section. Uh, check your solution. So it's always a good idea to check your solution to an equation by plugging it in and making sure that the equation works with it. But in this section, it's extra, extra important, and we'll see in the next video why it's so important. So first, uh, let's isolate the radical. We're going to divide both sides by 4 to cancel out with this multiplication by 4. That should give us uh, just the cube root by itself of x minus 9. And 12 over 4 is 3. So now the radical is by itself. Uh, now if we raise both sides to the power 3, that will cancel out with this. So that's what we're going to do here, is take this to the power 3, and this to the power 3. And the cube root to the power 3 just leaves you with x minus 9. And 3 to the power 3 is 27. And also, if you prefer to think of radicals as exponents, that would be just fine because remember this is the same thing as the cube root, or the, the cube root, I mean, is the same thing as the exponent, x minus 9 raised to the power 1 third. And then if you raise that to the power 3, you would multiply those exponents together and still get the same thing. So you can always do exponent notation instead of radicals and it might make things make more sense for you. Anyways, next we're going to add 9 to both sides to actually finish solving it to get x and we'll get x equals uh, 27 plus 9 is 36 and maybe that's a solution, maybe it's not, maybe I made a mistake along the way, uh, but we're going to check the solution anyways. So that means we're going to take the original equation 4 times the cube root of 36 minus 9. We want to check that that is equal to 12. Let's work it out. Uh, 36 minus 9 is 27. So that'll be 4 times the cube root of 27. The cube root of 27 is 3. So this gives you 4 times 3 which is equal to 12. So yes, that is actually a solution. And we're good. And here's an exercise for you to try. Try it yourself as usual. Uh, and then check the work after I show you the answer after the pause break. And if you get it wrong, that's OK. Here's my solution, v equals negative 4, and I did check that here. Plugging in v equals negative 4 gives you a fourth root of 16, which becomes 2. It all works out to 10, so it is a solution of the equation. And we are going to see in the next video why doing stuff like this, raising both sides to the fourth power, uh, or squaring both sides, you really have to check your solutions, and we'll see why in the next video.